welcome to My Own Worst Enemy. I'm going to take a look at, this will sort of be an unboxing, well it won't be sort of an unboxing, it will be an unboxing. And I think this uh, might end up being the next game I play, I'm not sure yet, we'll see. But this, this is the Battle of Midway, 1942 AD. This is from Turning Point Simulations, and this is actually, and if you read on the site here, it's, let's turn it so we can see. This actually is chapter 19 of 21. So what this refers to is Turning Point Simulations is, has basically taken, there's a book called, what is it called? Oh gosh, I can't remember. It's 20, like 20 Decisive Battles of the World or something like that. So this, this is one of those battles in the book and they've, they've taken each, I guess, each battle in that book and turned it into a board game. So this is the Battle of Midway. And this is, I've had this game for a while. Actually, this game I received on my very first trip to uh, the Origins, the Origins uh, board game convention. And it was, I, this was a giveaway that I received from um, the, uh, one of the, one of the sites that was there. And so... Uh, I've had it for a while, haven't tried it yet, so we're going to take a look at it and see what's in here. It's, I think it's never been used. I think it's never been played, so let's take a look. Now, the box is interesting in that it's not a cardboard box. It's a plastic box, and at first, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't really thrilled with that. I didn't think that was, I thought that was kind of a cheap thing, but the more I look at it, the, the more I like it, actually. So this, this is actually the cover of that box, so... It's wrapped around a plastic tray with that plastic lid on top. So it protects it and yeah, so uh, it keeps it together nicely, really. So let's dig in here and see what we have. How do we want to do this? Let me just kind of move the box to the side over here. Well, let's move it over here. That's kind of causing some problems with lighting or something. And just start pulling things out and looking at it. So what do we have here? American deployment. I think this is, I think what this, let's look at the back of the game here. One game board for a minute. I think this is one of the off board areas they refer to. Yeah, so it includes an overview map board of the area and an off map battle board and these deployment charts, I guess. And I'm, Assuming that what this would also be used for is marking or leaving counters off the board. You would have them here so you could tell, you know, what was with what task force. And these air deployments, I'm assuming, are planning your your airwaves. I'm assuming all this. I don't know. <laughs> I've never played it. That's just an assumption. And so let's see what else we have here. The rule book. Not a very big rule book. I believe this rule book has actually been updated. I think there's a um, at least a version two out there, so I'm gonna have to download that and take a look at it. It's a nice, nice pages. It's the uh, not just paper. It's that nice shiny paper, the glossy paper. It's in color, which is nice. Um, we got some abbreviations. Looks like it's broken down into your typical sections. You know your components and then concepts before you begin. Sequence of play. The battle board. Not a lot of rules at all, actually. So there's seven pages, eight, 11 total. Yeah, because this is just a uh, reference, some kind of reference sheet. Um, winning the game looks like you get victory points for hitting uh, battleships and carriers, things like that. This game, I think. Let's flip back. I think this might be one of those ones that, that has hidden information in it. And I'm, I'm kind of hoping maybe it does, because if it does, it might be a good opportunity for me to uh, maybe take you through some ways that you could play this solo. And, you know, instead of just having everything visible, which is certainly an option, there's some, uh, take a look at some things you could do to make it a little more uncertain as far as, you know, trying to, to spot task force, task force, <laughs> task forces with um your your spotters but okay so that's like i said very very short amount of rules very small rule book and that might be a good thing and then i'm going to reach in here and pull out looks like a counter sheet this this has never been punched so yeah this is pretty much a brand new 
uh, board game, never been played. Nice looking counters. There's the Enterprise, the Yorktown. Uh, there's some Japanese carriers, the Kaga, the Akagi. Uh, not not a lot of counters, but I like what I see. They're nice, nice looking counters, thick. There is a backside. It looks like to some of the counters. They got some smoke markers. Don't know what the explosion markers are for. That's interesting. Unspotted task force, which I wonder what the other side of that would be. I guess that's your uh, yeah main body. So okay, well maybe there's um, maybe we'll find out. Like I said, I'm hoping there are kind of some hidden rules here, so we can be an extra learning for uh, some extra learning for us here. A defiant stand mini game rules of play. So this might be just another scenario. U.S. player wins if he has any units remaining on midway by the end of the game, or there are no Japanese ground units in play. Sounds like an invasion, so it's like a little mini game you could play. That's cool. We like more scenarios. And then this, and actually, you know, it said it, there was a hard map board in here, and I kind of wondered if that was going to be the case, but there is. It's not very big. It is, have I got this upside down? I think I do. Looks like it should go like this. Not a very big board, but I don't think you need a huge board for the Battle of Midway um, here anyway. Uh, two little islands, the rest is ocean, and then there's some areas here for the Japanese, the Americans, not sure what's going what's to go in those. Maybe it's reinforcements or something, I don't know. Battle rounds are over here, and there's an A, B, and C for some reason there. Uh, it's a nice board, nice printed board. Surprised to see it in such a small game. And then there's this... Um, what is this? This is Sand Island and Eastern Island, the Lagoon, the Pacific Ocean. So this looks like this might go with that that battle scenario we just looked at. You know, maybe these are landing zones for troops or something. Maybe it's, I don't know. Pretty cool. That's nice thick paper. I like the print on that too. And what do we got here? A couple more sheets. On the top, this looks like uh, more stuff we can buy. And Saratoga, that looks interesting. Okay, I'm getting <laughs> getting pulled outside of my uh, Midway uh, unboxing here, but that's okay. Yeah, that looks interesting. I have to go back and check that one out. And then what do we have here? This looks like a... What in the world is that? I guess it's an advertisement for another game. It's upside down, so that's not helping me. Um, hmm. Okay, that's just another advertisement. And then uh, finally we have a de Japanese deployment sheet. And we, if you recall, we had one for the American side. So not surprising there. And we hit the bottom of the box and we get, look at this, we get four D6s and it looks like and this is what I like about this this box that it came in. You get that neat little box, and it has these um, these trays that you can put the counters in. I'm assuming. I don't know why I couldn't. Let's get those counters back out because there wasn't a whole lot. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So that might be kind of cool to split the counters up in there to keep them all there, um, in place. I mean, there's no lid or anything to go over that, so they probably don't know how long they would stay like that because this this thing stands up on its end when it's on my shelf anyway because it looks kind of like a Looks like a book in one of those. Looks like a book in a, in one of those volumes of other games, I suppose. Uh, well, there you go. Just real quick, real brief look at what um, what I'm thinking about doing next. Because, like I said, this game there could be some hidden information in here. I suspect there probably is, and if there is, maybe I can use this as a uh, sort of a uh, teaching opportunity. Let's get this on camera a little better here. Is it maybe a teaching opportunity of how you can handle some of the hidden information? Um, we shall see. Game designer is Paul Rohr Rohrbaugh. I hope I'm saying that right. There you go. Uh, nice looking game, small game, and I will get this one out onto the table soon. So make sure you watch for that.